Hello, Eagers. Welcome to the Eager Tips videos. Today, we're going to talk about the small but mighty spectral display on the therapist screen. I call it small but mighty because it is this unassuming but highly informative feedback that we get on our therapist screen. Basics of it. First of all, it's on the bottom left corner of your therapist screen. There's a way to make it larger by toggling F12, and then it will be a full display, like a mirror image of itself. So you can see it maybe a little bit bigger and clearer. There's different ways to customize the color schemes. I can do another video if people wanna know how to do that. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna talk in terms of how it's set for the default, which is like a beautiful rainbow color scheme. You can make it bigger by pressing F10. You can make it smaller by pressing Shift F10. I prefer the rainbow scheme. It's what I learned with. It, I've never really changed the, the color schemes, but that's how I'm going to talk about it today. Other than it being this absolutely gorgeous pulsating bar of colors on the bottom of the therapist screen, the information the spectral provides is so helpful when it comes to establishing and determining any changes you might want to make in the inhibit bands or the reward bands for your protocols. The spectral at the bottom is a representation of each individual frequency as seen in the rainbow. So one hertz frequency is this deep purple, two hertz is a little lighter, and so on and so on, up to high beta looks like a yellowy color. Under the pulsating colors are these little brackets. So if you have a three trace protocol set up, you will have three little brackets. One is gonna be underneath your inhibit. Say you set it zero to six. You will have a little bracket under there denoting that that's where your inhibit is. If you set your reward at 12 to 15, you'll have a little bracket under there. And your high frequency inhibit 22 to 36, you will also have a little bracket underneath. So if you're watching the spectral or kind of checking in on it, I will often look down to it during a training. You'll notice that there's two flickering orange bars and they dance around the whole thing. And one's really big and one's really small. And that's a question we get a lot here at Eager is what is this orange flickering thing? <laughs> so the largest orange bar that appears is the strongest or loudest frequency in that moment in that person's brain. The small orange bar is the weakest or the quietest frequency that that brain is making in that moment. So this is extremely helpful information when you're working on setting up protocols. And it's amazing because you can adjust your settings, your either inhibits or your rewards, to include the, the weakest or the strongest. So say the loudest frequency that keeps popping up consistently is four. So four hertz, this person's making an awful lot of that. Um, but it's like the middle of the day and they're like awake and they're supposed to be concentrating on something. So I want to make sure that my inhibit is going to include that four hertz to help quiet that down as the person's training. Likewise, you can adjust the reward band to include the weakest frequency, especially if there's a deficit in a specific frequency band that's likely in hindering the person's function. Um, we might want to help them make a little bit more of that to help them function better. So I'm going to give a quick client example, just totally made up. So say you have a new client coming in. You've completed your super detailed assessment. You've completed the mini map. The person's coming to you because of difficulties with managing stress, difficulty with sleep, both falling and waking, um, task completion and organization. They endorse many symptoms on the over arousal side. So you might set the initial protocol to be C4A2, 12 to 15 Hertz reward. That's seems to be a safe place to start. So while you're waiting for the screen to initialize, <laughs> as it's kind of going across and scrolling across, you look down at the spectral and you see, oh, the quietest, the smallest orange bar is actually flickering at 11. So if I have my reward band set to 12 to 15, I'm not including 
the weakest frequency. And if I am an over aroused person, I might want to have a little bit more 11 <laughs> frequency in my, in my life. I might adjust the frequency band to include 11. So I might drop it from 12 to 15 to 11 to 14. But I'm also going to be talking with the client about what is feeling good for them. It's kind of all a little bit exploratory, but using that spectral as a guidepost to let you know, hmm, maybe this is where I could start the training and figure out from there what the client needs. It's a super, super, super handy tool. So I hope you guys pay more attention to it and let me know if there's any questions. All right. Take care. Bye.